right a um, bit of a video on RNS series Valiant horns and uh, the differences between them. Not a lot of people know that there is a difference between RNS horns, and it's mainly just to do with the shape of the uh, horn trumpet and the actual bracket. Now, an S, well, I'll start off with an R series horn. You'll have to excuse this one, it's been pulled apart a bit, but um, <clears throat> basically. This is what an R-series horn looks like. You can see that the trumpet on the end is, is, is pretty big. Um, but it's pretty similar in shape to the S. Um, from It's a Spartan horn, to the best of my knowledge, the Australian cars had. And this one in particular, it's got a marking of uh, 2B stamped onto it. Um, the back of it is pretty flat. And, and when I say flat, um, what I mean is you can see the back of the S-series one. They're pretty much the same. They're, they're identical, basically. But you'll notice that if you go searching for them in America, um, these sort of horns actually had like a big bulbous dome on the on the back of them, which housed, you know, the internals, rather than this. You'll know what I mean if you ever see one. This is a rather a, a flat section. But now I've been trying to find out a bit about the horns and which are the right ones, like especially for the R's. Um, Coming from America, like the R series was actually a 61 Plymouth Valiant, and I have a feeling that over there, almost all of the horns would have had the big rounded dome section on the back. Some people have told me that some Australian cars had it as well. Um, I'm not certain, haven't seen heaps of them. But the main difference is that big horn section there. So there's that one for the R, and you can notice this one's a bit narrower on the S, and side by side. That's your difference. Um, the second main difference is, of course, the bracket. The bracket on S-series horns is a big, long, straight bracket. Whereas the R's, if I can keep this one together, they've got a curved bracket like that. And left and right are just exactly opposite, the, the way the, the bracket bends. Um, R-series horns are mounted underneath the front bumper bar, under the gravel tray. Actually, if I can take you over to my car that I'm fixing up here. And I've just inserted one of these horns. I'll try to get under here. Now I'm hoping you can see. There is a horn up there. Oh God, it's so hard to see. It's right up there. It's behind the, the indicator, actually. It's up in behind there. And it bolts onto, um, the panel, this panel here, whereas the S series would normally in the engine bay, they usually sit here on the guard and sit up in the open. But um, that's basically the main difference between the two. It's the shape. I've been looking for these to see what sort of ones I can get. I wanted to get the original R type from the States on eBay and stuff. There's heaps of these with the large trumpet. Um, Almost none with this flat background. I don't know if that was an Australian thing. But the Spartan horns are made in the USA. Um, in Australia, you'll find advertised a lot of horns that are this shape, almost identical, by brands such as um, RVB, I think it is. And I have a feeling there's one other brand, but I can't remember. In any case, that's your basic difference between your horns, between an R-series horn and an S-series horn. That's it.